Well, look, we've, we've spoken a bit about this attack on Josh Burns' office. He's a, a federal Labor MP, MP for the seat of McNamara. His electorate office in St Kilda in the early hours of the morning at 20 past three was badly vandalised. I think this clearly goes beyond legitimate political protest. It is vandalism. It is anti-Semitic. It has apparently shaken Josh Burns a fair bit. An ex-guest is chair of the Anti-Defamation Commission, Devia Abramovich. Good morning. Good morning, Tom. Thanks for having me on. So Josh Burns' uh, face has had devil horns painted above it. There's a sign that, or you know, a slogan that says Zionism is fascism. His windows have been smashed. Do, do you think this, this counts as anti-Semitism? Uh, absolutely. And this is a sad day for Melbourne. It's a sad day for our democracy. And look, Tom, we're at a boiling point. And I think that over the last seven months, every red line has been crossed as this fire of anti-Semitism is running wild in our city. And it's frightening that this is what Melbourne has descended to. I mean, this is not normal. And I'm worried that someone is going to get killed because where you have this kind of, as you pointed out, this hateful and violent vandalism, deadly tragedy can follow. And I think it's time to pull the alarm bells. Um, I mean, this is not just an anti-Semitic act. This is anti-Australian. I mean, is this what we've become where we, we are singling out politicians because of their faith? I mean, this goes against who we are as a people and as a country. And what was unimaginable a few years ago is happening before our very eyes. And I'm very, very worried. Mm. For, former state Labor MP Philip Daladakis commented on this on X, aka Twitter. He said, this is far more serious than civil disobedience. It has to be denounced by all. And he said, yes, Greens, I am looking at you. Do you think the Greens party is anti-Semitic? I don't know if I would classify them as anti-Semitic, but there are certainly anti-Semitic elements and anti-Semitic enabling that is taking place. I mean, this is a Category 5 hurricane, which is spiraling out of control in our city. And let me tell you that the number of reports that I'm getting from all around Melbourne are staggering. Let's also remember this, this is just another sickening day of anti-Semitism. And it's happening because when you allow university campuses, Tom, to be hijacked by radicals and thugs, or when you allow people to march in the streets of Melbourne calling for the destruction of Israel, or celebrating the October 7th Hamas massacre, or talking about a globalized intifada, it's not surprised that we now have elected representatives being attacked. And we need to make sure that every leader needs to call out this ugliness. And I don't care, Tom, how you feel about the war between Israel and Hamas. No way is this okay or permissible. And I think the Premier Jacinta Allen needs to create a task force. I think she needs to create a task force to deal with this danger, which would involve law enforcement, education. We need to push back against this evil because we don't need to wait for a tragedy to take this growing threat seriously. All right. Thank you for your time. Devia Abramovich there, Chair of the Anti-Defamation Commission.